Goose Gaming here, and today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a color combination lock. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so to start off, what you're going to need for the first part of this build is redstone, redstone repeaters, one sticky piston, eight pist standard pistons, glass, I mean you don't need to have wool, but, uh, and also uh, different colored wool, but I like it. Um, when I have uh, each color assigned to uh, uh, a circuit and some slabs. Oh, I chose here some smooth stone slabs, but you can use any sort of slabs. It won't make a difference. Okay, so let's start with building it. I actually cheated on you guys a bit because you need some blocks to start uh, make the, like kind of wall I'm gonna be using quartz here you do not need to use quartz this is just my choice I'm gonna make the floor out of quartz too uh, I'm bad okay something like this and place a button there so now we can get back to the actual build. So now we want to build the car combination lock. We need to get the output to go to what we want it to go to. So let's do something like this. Here you need to clear out a two by two area. I'm pretty sure this is the length. Here you can place the glass because it's just for decoration. I can also delete that. Um, here we have we can place our wool. Here we will use a monos table circuit to make the pulse shorter. Okay, and it goes to something like this. We place redstone right here. Of course, a repeater here because without the repeater, it wouldn't work at all. Now, here, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we are going to place normal pistons here, here, and this is just for here. As I said again, you don't need to do this with the wall, but I, I just like it so it looks nice here this is set to one tick these repeaters and these are set to two ticks because it's going to go this this then top pistons then top pistons there and like a loop like that so that's that's what we need to do to make the delay work with it so now this is the some might say more tricky part how to get the top pistons that we're going to place in a second to work we're going to use something called a redstone not elevator but like the, the pillaring uh, mechanism of it. I do not think there's an official name for it but I just call it a, a rest in pillar. So we use glass to exchange the output because only glass is a invisible a transparent block so resting can go up but it can't go down and thanks to that we can do stuff like this and it can also merge through. So 
that's a very cool feature I'd say um I deleted those pistons okay mm. now we can use the last color of wool that we need here yes something like that so now we can make the rest turn up right here this here here and the timings is one and two so here it's going to be three ticks here it's going to be four ticks and i'm going to fill in this here bam 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 bam, bam. Mm, oh sorry what okay and that's actually it done we can show you, i can show you guys bam 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 that's how it works one two three thank god that i looked up here because i would use no sticky pistons okay now it should be good so now for the actual color combination lock you should clear out your inventory and sorry caps lock um i'm gonna use a rainbow for this but you can just place random colors fill up our loop loop here so here press here press here press see that's how it should look that's not all we need two more colors that's why we have more wool colors waiting for us we're going to use magenta and pink for this and that's it ah no you might be thinking why do we have that thing so that's going to be for the actual logic so you don't need to do that you can just align it with a wall right here yes and how this is going to work let's say we want the blue color there to be the color that we want to choose so we place a cold in here um like so water right here see and now this is the most fun part we take some wool we take comparators western dust and a rest and some torches so the comparator knows when the cauldron is there or not because if there's there isn't a cauldron there it's gonna be off see so yeah now we need to make a new cauldron okay no okay but we want it to activate on blue so now it's correct now we can place something like this and now it's and how it's going to work that we're going to place a lamp redstone lamp like so right here i think it would have the glass but yeah um and this lamp should turn on when blue is here not be off so we're gonna read about this um, and you might think why can't we just do this because now it's powered on this is because this kind of mechanism you can stack so you can have like 10 of them and stuff and then we are creating now an iron gate so that is why we need to revert it and revert it back again because here see how it how it works is now if you'd have two of these and one is correct it would look like this one on and because this is still powering it 
the lamp wouldn't be on. But if you choose both of them correctly, it's going to turn off this lamp from the second module and go. But here we don't have it. But I'm just showing you this to you guys because in the last video there were a bit of um, questions about how to wire it up and stuff. So I uh, I want I want to show you guys how to do this. And yeah, so now it's blue. It's on. That's what we want. Now it's off. See. So it worked because look the cauldron is not here it moved wet the blocks right so that is what we wanted to see and now you have a working color combination lock module but you might say why do i want something like this if um i just want to make a nice okay and you might say why do you want something like this if people can just spam it and it would work because look, look. i can just spam click it until it's going to work see and i i, I didn't even know the code i just spammed it that's why we have this stackable moduling thing with the AND gates. And here, you might already saw it when I was like spinning around. I have two modules, and so here I need to I need to choose the right colors. So now I can't just spam it, because I'll show you in a second. See, yellow is good because blue is also correct. Here I have the code, yellow and light blue. And what do you have here, yellow and light blue? So you see, both of them are turned off because the cauldrons are here. That's why we have it powered. But even if one of them isn't powered, like this, see, this one is back on because the cauldron moved. It's going to power this which turns off this if you really want to get even more protection it can get a three three stack uh, version four stack version five stack version and this is why i love this module so much you can just stack it how much you want there's no limitations the more modules you have the more layers you have so then if you'd have eight you need to double this and then add another layer here i personally wouldn't go more than three or four because i mean two is already safe enough i'd say and when uh when if we're talking about the arresting torch key thank you for all the support over one thousand one freaking thousand one thousand of you guys watched that video and i have just 60 subs one thousand that's i don't know how much that's ridiculous that's just ridiculous i'm really thankful for your guys support i hope um, you enjoyed this video subscribe leave a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe notification bell to never miss any videos so guys i will see you in the next one bye bye oh, i broke more blocks bye